Hello, B-Movie Maniacs. Good evening, good morning, whenever you're watching this video. Uh, welcome to the YouTube channel. Uh, I got Mike Hayes with me here. Mike, Hi. hello. Hi. And we are doing a fun little YouTube exclusive video for you guys. Mike, this was your idea for the peanut butter solution. So you want to explain a little bit what we're, what we're doing here? The peanut butter solution was a film mm -hmm. about art in a way. Um, uh, yes. <laughs> it's about, you know, a, a child kidnapper who is an artist and needs to use children for their benefit to make magic art. True. And so I thought it would be fun for us to maybe paint some images of our own to show how we feel about the film. The peanut butter solution. Right. And we talked about this on the podcast and um, you showed off your artwork on the podcast, but obviously mm -hmm. it being an audio medium, uh, our dear listeners didn't have an opportunity to check them out. So, so here we are and we're yeah. going to show off some of our artwork. Show off is a strong term, but we are going to show it. Yes. I mean, for you, it, maybe. But for me, I'm just going to say it's just more well, of a showing. Well, you know, I mean, what we had talked about was all four of us doing this. I don't know where Jay and Chris are. You know, and it's the two of them that have kids, which really would fucking fit this. Just put your kid in front of a, a canvas, you know, get get some finger paints out or whatever and do it. They're constantly finger painting. You feed them a taco, there's finger paint, from what <laughs> I understand. Like, it's just what it is. But I'm, I'm happy that you and me are here and we're going to check these out. So what is your first painting? Oh, wow. We're just jumping into it. Well, Paul. Let's do it. My first painting is, uh, let me show you here. It's, it's a painting here of, of a pair of jeans with some hair coming out the legs and also some hair popping out of the zipper up top here. <laughs> And I'm going to take a wild guess here and say that those are uh, pubes. Yeah, werewolf pubes of sorts. Werewolf pubes, okay. I mean, there, I guess there's no werewolf in this film, but the the young boy does put the solution onto his pubis area. Yes. <laughs> and then in the film, we, <laughs> this is starting out real creepy. Um, mm. And then in the film, we do witness... The hair growing out of his his pants, yes, and bulging out of. Do we see that, or did I? Is that we don't see on, I believe on the podcast. Yes, you said that that was artist interpretation, <laughs> and, and I appreciate that very much. Uh, lovely, lovely stuff. Well, I'm glad. I have. I only did one. I hope you don't mind. I was a little short on no, time. That's I have okay. one. So let's do one more yours. Okay, and then we'll get to mine. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, so then I have here, oh, what's that? That, that's just a hunky, that's a hunky Jar Jar, Drew, sorry, uh, let me, <laughs> I got stuck in here, that shouldn't, there we go. Yeah, it's an accident, I'm sure. Yeah, here we go. Here is a picture of the sad, it, it, this can be interpreted in many ways, having, if you've seen the film, um, perhaps this to you is the sad child who is putting peanut butter on his hair or his bald head to try to get hair. And it's a very sad, traumatic experience. Or it's just me watching this movie. <laughs> Where I'm a sad boy. With it peanut works butter. both ways. Yeah, it's... it's, it's art, it, that's the beauty of art. It's, it's very... What do they say? Open to interpretation? Absolutely. I mean, mm -hmm. it's whatever you want it to be. Yeah. I, I choose that to be... Um, you so upset about the, the movie, the events of the movie, that you're crying and putting peanut butter on your head for no reason. It probably, if I remember right, yeah, it did happen that way, actually. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's a good conditioner, it turns out, peanut butter. Lots oh. of proteins. I believe Jay also said on the podcast that uh, it works well for shaving if you're out of shaving cream. Give that a try, buckaroos. <laughs> yes. 
Uh, all right. Um, should we would, take a look at what I got here? I would love to see some beautiful artwork from you, Paul. Please share. Okay. Yes. Well, uh, again, I apologize. I didn't have a whole lot of time, but I did find some oil paintings or, or oil paint, I should say, mm-hmm. that was sitting around from my Bob Ross days. I used to do uh, some Bob Rosses back in the day. Mm-hmm. Um, so I th- I threw this together. I have to, I'm sorry, I forgot to, let me just stand up and grab it real quick. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> Hold on. Sorry, audience. I'll, I'll be... Oh Just give me boy, one this second. is this was all left in. This is weird that this was left in the edit. Um, so, like I said, I didn't have much time. What the fuck? But <laughs> Paul, you did this? This is it. I don't know if you can. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What? Well, oh. <laughs> uh, hold on a second, Mike. I can't. Okay. Yeah. No. We got to make sure you get that in frame properly. <sighs> Can you see that? Well, the, only the top of it. I saw a glimpse of part uh, the whole thing at some point, uh, but I don't. Okay, no. See, yeah. I still don't see the whole thing. Wow, this is that's a big. You did a that's a lot of in there. Okay, oh. you got. I didn't. Uh, I didn't think through the whole like you know like I I can't hear anything that you're saying because I don't have my headphones <laughs> on. But that was it. Well, we didn't. I, I hopefully they caught the audience caught the glimpse I did of the beautiful incorporation of Skippy peanut butter in yes. this beautiful landscape that you have created. Yeah, I mean, I wanted to you know do something realistic, capture the realism of the film. Yeah. And so yeah, over here is a little you know jar of Skippy hanging out. Yeah, it's but, beautiful. Well, thank you, but you know this this movie just it, it made me feel very serene very peaceful kind of kind of brings you back to childhood a little bit i guess you know i understand that that does make a lot of sense yeah so this and, is this is my interpretation and honestly now that you say that i look at the the forest the river it really it really makes me think of the french canadian origins of the film you know the oh. the frontier the trappers of of yeah. the era you know of the of the of the settling area and that and that really just kind of really brings that home to for me that makes sense thank you for that mm-hmm. well thank you for sharing it with us absolutely um let's bring it home mike we got one left what do you got for us okay well i have uh well we saw this when i was where me or the child was crying um but then oh we gotta turn it this way here um this here is a painting I did of you spoon feeding me shit. Oh yeah, yeah. So you can see, like, that's you. You got your beard. It's a nice beard, I'd say. Thank you. Um, <laughs> your your beautiful eyes <laughs> here. Um, and then and then a spoon going into my mouth with with my long flowing locks of love. Yes. Here and the pink shirt I do always wear. Um, it's true. And then obviously we can see what is in the spoon by the thought bubbles you have, which is just a classic turd. <laughs> or so, peanut butter. Maybe that's peanut butter. I, I was going to say, I mean, why would I be thinking about shit while I'm also spoon feeding you shit? Well, I... Okay, here's the thing. I'm not a doctor by any means. Uh-huh. But I imagine... If I personally was putting shit into someone's mouth, I would be thinking about the fact that I am putting shit in someone's mouth. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. So, but that. it could be peanut butter. It could be peanut butter. Maybe, maybe what it is is you're putting shit in my mouth, but you're pretending in your brain it's peanut butter. Oh, okay. That that, that yeah, I can I can see myself doing that. Yeah, yeah that does make a lot of sense. I've known you for couple what? years yeah like two years yeah and so like that does make sense to me that came from your soul obviously Ed, but i hope that mm-hmm. you, there's no hard feelings over you know watching this movie or being upset about anything oh by no means i've got my revenge during the marathon it's fine oh stay tuned folks that's coming up <laughs> very soon yeah Nobody. good luck uh, no i love you <laughs> and I love you too. And I want to thank you for 
not only for sharing your artwork with with uh, with me and you know with everyone here on YouTube, but also just coming up with the the ideas to do this because uh, it's always nice to uh, you know get some visual stuff going on for B Movie Mania. I agree, and I I thank you for facilitating this idea mm-hmm. and doing an original piece of art, unlike the other two garbage co-hosts that we have. Unbelievable. Um, but. I also extra want to thank the the viewer who's watching cuz mm-hmm. and I want to thank Michael Hogan. Oh, just for being Michael Hogan. Frack yes. Frack yes. Mm-hmm. Thank you guys for watching. Uh if you haven't I don't know why you'd be watching this if you haven't already watched the peanut butter solution but you can do so uh on tubi.tv and then of course our full review is now available over on bmoviemania.com or any of the podcasting uh, services, you know? Wherever you wherever you grab them, stab them. Exactly. Is that what they say? <laughs> I'm sure. Thank you. And good night. Good night. Good night.